Hello and welcome to the program. Now, outside of politics, the big story this week has been the terrible story of the missing tourist submarine that was attempting to visit the wreck of the Titanic and wound up going missing. It's a horrible thing to be sure, but in this crazy world we live in, not above politics. And in fact, while much of the buzz about the whole missing vessel and its five passengers and crew has been about how it was constructed, there is now also a question about whether media malpractice and even woke anti-white male hiring practices could have led to the disaster. Let's find out more as we go Busting the Narrative. I don't need to tell you much more about the missing Titan submersible operated by a company called OceanGate, which went missing with five people on board. But a story like this is going to attract a lot of speculation. And I think it may very well be Donald Trump Jr. who came first out of the blocks wondering if something more was at play. He tweeted, quote, literally everything I've seen about this missing sub submarine is insane and sketchy. Almost none of it makes any sense whatsoever. How long till we find other external factors making it ever more so? Unquote. Well, now, I don't know. Quite possibly the biggest external factor might have been the ocean pressure weighing in at around something like 5,000 PSI at the depths where the, where the submarine was operating on the bottom of the sea. But then... This CBS News report about the submarine may tell us a bit more. An experimental submersible vessel that has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma, or death. Where do I sign? Oh! -ho. Take your shoes off, that's customary. Okay. Wow! Inside, the sub has about as much room as a minivan. So this is not your grandfather's submersible. <laughs> we only have one button, that's it. It should be like an elevator. You know, it shouldn't take a lot of skill. The Titan is the only five-person sub in the world that can reach titanic depths, 2.4 miles below the sea. It's also the only one with a toilet, sort of. And yet I couldn't help noticing how many pieces of this sub seemed improvised. We can use these off-the-shelf components. I got these from uh, Camper World. We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> Come on! A game controller? Really? Well, actually, it turns out that that sort of thing is not uncommon. But what is weird, experts have told me, is that there was no manual backup, no way of overriding the controls if the joystick itself failed. There is something else though, that I think this reporter left out. When he went out with the Titan crew and the whole Ocean Gate company, he revealed that the Titan got lost for five whole hours without being able to contact the ship. The reporter, David Pogue, was on the mothership, and he revealed that, in a Twitter conversation this week, that the company shot off the internet to prevent the crew from tweeting about what was going on that time. Seriously. Yet in the report that went online, he said that the ship was just lost for two and a half hours. And he never talked about the internet being shut down to prevent him telling the true story. What gives? Could Pogue have maybe alerted future passengers to the dangers the whole thing had involved had he been more forthcoming at the time? But there's still more. The company, OceanGate itself, and specifically its CEO, who it turns out didn't want to hire old ex-submariners who know a thing or two because, well, they weren't inspirational enough. Listen to what he talks about. The CEO talks about hiring people. Uh, yes, I mean, when I started business, one of the things you'll find, there are other sub-operators out there, but they, they typically um, have... Uh, gentlemen who were ex-military submariners, and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50-year-old white guys. Um, I wanted our team to be younger, to be inspirational, and I'm not going to inspire a 16-year-old to, to go pursue marine technology. 
but a 25 year old, uh, you know, who's a sub pilot or a, a platform operator, or one of our techs can be inspirational. And so we've really tried to, to get um, very intelligent, motivated, younger individuals involved because we're doing things that are completely new. We're taking approaches that are used largely in the aerospace industry is related to safety and uh, some of the, the preponderance of checklists, uh, things we do for risk assessments and things like that that are more aviation related than um, ocean related. And we can train people to do that. We can train someone to pilot the sub. We use a game controller um, so anybody can drive the sub. Seriously, this is, of course, an attitude which we see far too often all over the corporate world. And this time it may have led to tragic consequences. Thanks for watching. I am James Morrow. To support this channel, please like, share, and subscribe below. And I'll see you next time for more Busting the Narrative. Bye bye.